hello you guys it's Lauren welcome back to my channel and happy 2020 if you are viewing me for the first time I want to say welcome thanks for taking the time to click on this review if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome on back I do hope that you guys had a wonderful new year can't believe we're already in 2020 you guys know what that brings new year new fragrances spring preview i figured what better way than to kick off the new year with a beautiful fresh floral fragrance no more peppermint no more pine uh, none of that stuff we're going to switch it up a little bit and jump right into those spring preview fragrances if you guys follow me on instagram you will have seen that i posted um i've actually kind of been all about scent works the past couple weeks or so. These candles are from Kohl's. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I posted all the different fragrances this collection has available. If you're interested in this collection, the spring preview from Scentworks, I do have a review up of Lavender Mint as well as Blushing Blossoms. I posted those about a week ago or so. So I figured, you know what, let's continue on. There was a few other Scentworks fragrances I liked. Of course, Climbing Roses being one of them, so I had to review it for you guys. Let's jump into today's review. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's jump into today's review, which is of course going to be of Scentworks, Climbing Roses. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, this candle's available at Kohl's. They typically run two for 30. That seems to be like the standard price point they have on these candles. I haven't seen them on individual sales like $14.95, you know, $19.95 or anything like that. Typically they run two for 30. More times than not though, Kohl's is running some sort of in-store 15% off coupon, 20% off coupon. So these are available in-store at Kohl's in nine times out of nine. They're on some sort of promotion or there's a coupon available. Scentworks is um, affiliated with Homeworks, which is affiliated and owned by Harry Slatkin. So these are a Slatkin type candle. Um, I've had a lot of success with the Scentworks candles. There was one that I did purchase and it was far too light and I did wind up returning it. But all the other candles I've burned, I really haven't had any issues of. So I am really liking this line. So what I'm gonna do is before I dive into the performance, the throw, all that good stuff, let's kick it off with the scent notes. So these are just pulled up from Cole's website. Scent notes for climbing roses include rose water, pink peony, jasmine petals, and white tea. So what do I get from the fragrance? On cold, it definitely smells like a fresh cut rose type scent. While burning, you still get that fresh cut rose, um, more so rose petal than like a greenery note, just like bright, fresh roses without the stem, without the leaves and that added greenery note, just fresh rose petals. Peony, um, I guess it maybe has a little bit of peony in it. Uh, peony and rose seem to be very similar, but it's, it's kind of a blend of florals, but rose with the dominant note. Jasmine, I really don't get much jasmine. I'm not a white floral fan too, too much. They can be a little overpowering. I don't get much jasmine. And then they also say white tea. So I do not care for tea fragrances, tea type fragrances, white tea, sweet tea, um, not a fan. So for me, the tea note would have to be very minimal for me to even like this candle. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't get any sort of tea note out of this. It has a hint of sweetness, but it's more of a smooth sweet. So maybe that's a tea note kind of floating around in there. But this really smells like on cold and also while burning. For example, growing up, I had a rose bush outside my window and it would bloom every spring and it would have like just these puffy pink roses. They were very delicate. They weren't like the hothouse roses where the ones you buy in the store. They were garden roses, puffy, very delicate petals. They would blow off in the wind and scatter. I would get wafts of that coming through my bedroom and I wouldn't obviously get the greenery note or the leaf note. It was just rose petals. That's what this smells like. It smells like a blend of puffy rose petals, gentle, delicate rose petals, maybe a little bit of peony, a little bit of another floral blend going on in there, 
but the majority of it's gonna be rose. If you're a fan of Yankee Candles Fresh Cut Roses, even Bath and Body Works, the Ballerina Rose, if you like those, but they're a little too sharp, maybe like the green leaf note is just too much, you might really like Climbing Roses because it's really just the petal. It's really just the floral note, the sweet, delicate, smooth petal. It's a gorgeous fragrance. I was worried that it would be too light because on cold, some of the other ones were a little light. I was surprised. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of this candle when I got it home. I lit it up and no joke, within 10 minutes, if that, of lighting this candle when I walked into my entryway. So I had it going, I was walking up and down the hall, running around doing uh, errands, doing chores around the house. Within 10 minutes, I was catching just these beautiful floral wafts. Is it a in your face, intense, you know, Bath and Body Works style throw? Not quite. But it's definitely noticeable and it's much stronger than say like a Yankee Candle fragrance. I love Yankee Candles Fresh Cut Roses, but sometimes their candles just don't throw. Let's just be real, they don't throw. This one has a wonderful throw, um, a balanced throw too. One to 10, 10 of course being super crazy strong. I'd say this is throwing at a solid seven and a half, maybe even an eight in an open room. You're gonna notice it. It's probably gonna overpower any other fragrances you have going. Let me show you before I sign off. Let me show you the burn on this. Nice even wax pool. My other scent works candle, I was having a little mini issue with tunneling. These wicks aren't the most evenly placed ones, of course, but it has no effect. It's pooling out just nicely. Also, I said this in my other video, but I love the jar. I don't know if it's showing on video, but it's just this beautiful, almost like mother of pearl, faux mother of pearl type uh, material. Really, really pretty. I'll absolutely repurpose this jar. Um, I would love to try some of the other fragrances from this collection. Um, I will absolutely be buying scent works again. Those of you who have burned climbing roses or any of the new scents from the scent works collection that just came out, comment down below. Let me know what's ones you've smelled, burned, tried, I'm curious to see because there's tons of scents. I think there's 12 available from this collection. So there's a lot of fragrances to choose. I'm curious to see which ones you guys have tried. You guys, before I sign off, I do wanna let you know I'm on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls. Candles, you know, things like that. If you're on there, come find me. You guys, that's it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.